Hello, my name is Mark, and I'm going to do you a quick walk around with a uh, pit maker safe. That's what this is here. It has the ball valve for your air intake. This thing here will not run. Let's see how that is. That's about what you'll be running in. It doesn't take much air. This here is for a water drain. I do not run water in this very often at all. This is your firebox. Let's see how it is. It also has an ash pan. This is pretty neat. You can dump it during the cook. Make sure you wear some welding gloves so that it does not burn you. But you can run a full load and if you need to add more to it and the ashes start to get high you can take and go ahead and do uh, empty on your ashes and then keep going as long as you want it's got the latch slam latch see how that works make sure when you're doing it that you check and make sure that it is completely latched or she'll suck air into it and she'll start to overrun also you can see how many shells it has here this one here, usually I will have a drip pan in it, and I don't cook very much stuff on here. This is your lowest point of your heat. The smoke comes in at the back, and there's a chamber that it comes up, and then it filters back down, and your smoke comes out to each side. You can see how that is on both sides. So a lot of times this will be your lowest deal because your grate is below where your exhaust is. This is for your different cookings. Let's see how that is. We'll run hot up here. So we'll be doing, you know, if you're doing something like that, but you don't want it dripping down for cross contamination. You want to make sure that you have your meat in the proper, proper place so that it does not drip down. A lot of times they'll use aluminum pans or something like that to go ahead and take care of that so that it doesn't. And just make sure that you don't you leave a little bit of area on each side so that the smoke can come past the pans and pull it you can push it all the way to the back because what it does then is causes the heat to come towards the front they do put outstanding gauges on here i do like that gauge it does work it glows in the dark it's a nice unit insulated when this thing's running 350 degrees you can sit here and hug this thing. It will not burn you at all. So we do appreciate you stopping by. If you have any questions, please put them in the, in the comment box. And if you would, please give it a big thumbs up or and subscribe to it. There will be more coming. Working around this, I, we do have Weber's, pellet smokers, grills, all kind of stuff like that. So please. Give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you and y'all have a great day.